We want to graph the following line using a table of values. So we'll let the first column represent the x value, and we'll let the second column represent the y value. So what we're going to do is select an x value, substitute it into the equation to determine the corresponding y value. And every x and y value that would satisfy this equation would be a point on the line, which we can plot on the coordinate plane. So we can select any x value that we want. Let's go ahead and select negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Now it does only take two points to graph a line, but we should always find at least three points. That way if the three points don't form a line, we know we've made an error. So for each of these x values, we'll perform substitution for x and then determine y. So when x is equal to negative 2, notice that y is going to be equal to negative 2 times negative 2 plus 5. Well, negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. 4 plus 5 equals 9. So this tells us that one point on the line would be the point having the coordinates negative 2 comma 9. When x is negative 1, we'd have negative 2 times negative 1 plus 5. Well, this would be 2 plus 5, or 7. So that means the point negative 1, 7 should also be on the line. And then when x is 0, we'd have negative 2 times 0 plus 5. That's going to be 5. So the line should contain the point 0, 5. And when x is positive 1, we'd have negative 2 times 1 plus 5. Well, this would be negative 2 plus 5. That's positive 3. So the point 1, 3 should be on the line. And then the last x value we selected was positive 2. So y is equal to negative 2 times 2 plus 5. Well, this would be negative 4 plus 5, which equals 1. So the line should also contain the point 2, 1. So now we'll go ahead and plot these five points and then sketch our line. So for the point negative 2, 9, we'd move left two units and up nine units, which will be off the screen. It's going to be somewhere up here. And then for the point negative 1, 7, we'll move left one unit and up seven units. Point zero 0.05 would be on the y-axis here. It's also the y-intercept of our line. For the point 1, 3, we'll move right 1 and up 3. So right 1 unit, up 3 units here. And the last point is 2, 1. So we'll go right 2 units and up 1 unit. Everything looks good here because notice that all of these points line up to form a single line. So the graph of y equals negative 2x plus 5 would be the line passing through these five points. So it would look something like this. Now I do want to emphasize that we could have selected any x value here and determined the corresponding y value, but these tend to be common x values to select when graphing a line using a table of values.